everyone, welcome to episode 8 of Soul Calibur 3. So we're going to be playing as Taki in this one, Jiggly. Um, and, <laughs> um, so I finally decided to, you know, pick a character before the video. Um, you know, and Taki's pretty good. I'm, de I'm decent with her. Uh, one second, pulling up the thing. Okay, Taki returned to Japan to settle the matter of Toki, head of the Fuma clan, who had been collecting fragments of Soul Edge. Her former master had transformed into a demonic being. She faced off against him in Mortal Kombat at the Hoko Temple and finally defeated him. At that time, she heard a weak voice. Taki, is that you? It's dark here. Startled to hear her master speak with his normal voice, she opened her mouth to call his name. But in the next instant, an unknown spiritual mass emerged from Ta Toki's mouth and silently flew away. Taki made preparations to leave the country at dawn. Toki must have been heading for the location of the Cursed Sword. The time to act was now. When the sword's presence felt weak, Taki sped, sped off like a shadow into the night. Alright. Her night terror path is pretty easy to figure out. Uh, pretty easy to remember. As she was making plans to cross the sea, Taki heard rumors of a swordsman who was interested in Soul Edge. After investigating, it seemed that the woman sought revenge on Mitsurugi. It was well known that Mitsurugi was searching for Soul Edge. This woman most likely sought it as as a means of finding Mitsurugi, the last thing Taki needs was more interference. She decided it would build, uh, be, uh, be best to nip this in the bud and pursue the swordsman. She She's fighting her instead of the guy? Okay. Nope. nope. There we go. That's the attack I wanted. Ooh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know she has two different these attacks. One if you're running at them and one if you stand still. If you stand still in front of them, uh, you'll do a, um, a, uh, like you get behind him and stab him in the neck, uh, stab him in the head. The Curse Sword had once controlled the Azure Knight in Europe, but what was going on now? Rumors said that the Knight is Azure, in Azure armor was once again rampaging across the land. However, Soul Edge was a sword that controlled the mind of the one who wielded it. Was it really the same person serving as its vessel once more? Regardless, it was clear she needed to travel to Europe. Taki head for the port. Take the Southern Sea route to Europe. Taki began controlling rumors regarding. See what I mean? The world's not flat! Uh, rumor regarding the cursed sword in Europe, however, beyond the fact that the Azure Knight had reappeared recently, she was unable to find any information of value. As she was pondering the situation, she came upon an area. Her journey by ship had exhausted her funds. She would surely require money in uh, the course of her travels. In addition, she might be able to ask the warriors of the arena about the Azure Knight. I'm through! Versus Rock. There's a special, there's a very powerful attack she has. I, there we go, that's it. There we go, oh. Love that attack. Here we go, stab him in the neck, or head, or arm, because he's big. That's what she said. I don't even know what I did there, that wasn't even on purpose. Oh shit, that's awesome. Bitch, you need a bra. Your tits keep jiggling everywhere. <laughs> okay. In the end, Taki obtained no information regarding the cursed sword, but she did manage to hear rumors about the Azure Knight. She also obtained prize money to fund her journey, and she decided to search for the Azure Knight in one city. She succeeded in making contact with someone claiming to know the Azure, of the Azure Knight. She headed to the clock tower as he had instruction. However, something about it bothered her. Things seemed to be going too smoothly. Tick, 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 tick. Tick, tick. Why her handle for her weapon was going through her arm. I've heard rumors about you. Let us find out whether you are truly worthy of the sword. Yep, dodging that thing. That's it. Get ready. Versus Zasalamel. Fight. Uh... Ah! That dodge, though. <laughs> You're not careful, that attack will knock you off the ring. Finish him! Aw. Ha! Bitch! Yeet! <laughs> Snap his neck. For real, he couldn't. Uh, that sword, do you mean the Soul Edge? I place my curse upon you, warriors of the Far East. 
warrior of the Far East. Without answering the question, the man with the scythe disappeared into the darkness. He was a mysterious man. It seemed to hear a search for the cursor was not going to be any easier this time around. Following him would be inadvisable. Carelessly pursuing him would be dangerous. She didn't even know anything about him. Taki began once again collecting rumors about Soul Edge. It appeared likely that the Azure Knight, once again known as Nightmare, who currently possessed the Cursed Sword, was no longer in Europe. However, Europe had uh, suffered the most of at his hands. There was surely still information regarding the Cursed Sword to be found in this land. By following the tra trail of the Azure Knight. While gathering information outside of the Europe, Taki encountered a rumor that a temple in Egypt had been destroyed just a few days before startlingly. It was said that the destruction was caused by attacks with the sword. It was, it would take some uh, someone of great strength to accomplish such an inhumane feat. It was highly probable that it was the work of the Soul Edge in the Azure Night. In order to confirm her suspicious, her suspicions, Taki head to Egypt. All right, time to fight Young Sung's bitch ass. Yeet! Oh, jeez. I do not consent to being manhandled, sir. Damn. Ha! Bitch! Bitch! No. Because I'm, if it's who I think it is, I don't feel like fighting him. Even actually, Taki probably would have been a decent character to fight him with. Uh, having heard that the person who had destroyed the temple was a man in blue armor, Taki was certain that she was correct. He had uh, left Europe now that she had confirmation that he had headed east. Taki set out east as well. Upon uh, entering Persia, Taki heard that a cult rumored uh, to have worshipped the evil god he had been wiped out recently. She heard. She headed to their temple in the desert. It had been utterly devastated. It may have been the work of the Azure Knight. He messed up real bad, bro. The size of my weapon versus yours, and you missed. Bruh, he would have got fucked if I got with that grab. Oh! Oh! oh my god! I almost killed myself! Oh my god, I almost fucking killed myself. Alright, after defeat, he was not black. The black giant, Taki, found a fragment of Soul Edge in its body. It wasn't Nightmare, but it seemed that the Cursed Sword was still involved. Given that this being with a fragment inside his body had been unharmed, did that mean that Nightmare had not been here, or was the giant of, a servant of Nightmare? Whatever the case, she needs to look for the next clue. Where where had the Azure Knight gone? Taki continued her journey while searching for traces of instance that Soul Edge was likely to have caused in one land. Taki heard the story of a young man on a journey to exercise evil energy and destroy the Cursed Sword. This man might know something about the whereabouts of the, the Azure Knight. She went to visit the young man deep in the mountains, but she found herself facing off against him. It seemed Mickey Maru, which contained dark power, had become an obstacle. Nothing personal. Versus Keelik. Oh shit. No! Oh! Fuck. Not good. Not good. I was gonna try spamming that attack. Fuck! No, no more night terror. How nice. Again. Get the dog hair in my mouth. off <sighs> that was close <laughs> okay 
even though we lost. Uh, it had been a close fight. The young man's arts and convictions were strong, and Taki had to fight with all of her strength. Her experience as a member of Fuma since she was a young child had given her the edge. Having learned nothing, she'd send the man and now heard rumors of a warrior who boasted that he would destroy Soul Edge, given that he knew the name uh, Soul Edge, it might uh, not be prudent to ignore him. Uh, well, we can't exactly do it, so just pursue the Azure Knight. Um, so I'm going off the path. So really, just to get Night Terror, just go uh, second route the entire time. That's the bottom one. During the rumors of the port city where a pack of monsters had appeared some years before, Taki suspected that it might have been related to the Cursed Sword. The city appeared to be peaceful, but an aroma of evil still lingered in the land. The evil calls forth e evil. It would be no surprise if the Azure Knight were to visit the place. Just as she was thinking this, Taki suddenly felt Meki Maru react, someone possessing powerful energy nearby. Was nearby. Versus Berserker. Fight. That dodge, though. Ah. Kidding. You're kidding. We lost to this dude. You He doesn't even have voice lines. He just said ah. <laughs> Bro, chill the fuck out, you custom character bitch. Oh my god. You know, I had someone try roasting me when I gave, uh, was it Mortal Kombat 5 or 6? 6? When I gave it a bad review, because I said, like, I liked Soul Calibur 3 more. You know, Soul Calibur 3, you know, pissed me off, yeah. But I think it has way more content, it was way more enjoyable, alright? This motherfucker wants to say, oh, this game is so unbalanced, bitch. I played number, I think it was four or five. And fucking, I was getting three hit killed by Nightmare because they had, like, different characters, did different amounts of power and shit. Literally, he would, like, slam me into the ground, throw me into the air, and then fucking slam me into the ground when I hit the ground again. Like, I was like, I couldn't even block past the first hit. Like, he wants to call this game unbalanced. I mean, like, you know, this game, you know, the AI level is unbalanced, not, you know, the fights themselves. Oh my god, this motherfucker. Dude, why is the custom character so powerful? What is this bullshit? They are never this fucking aggressive. Bruh, really? Really? Oh my, I walked into that. Oh my god. Alright. I'm gonna need a Snickers real quick, bro. Not because I'm hungry, but because I'm not me when I'm angry. <laughs> oh, wait. Shit. Fuck. That ain't work. Shut up. Alright. Be gone, you piece of shit! Fuck you! Fucking murder your ass after you're dead. Bro, this whole caliber really went into making her look like a hoe. <laughs> After defeating the man possessed by evil, Taki continued gathering information and encountering a traveling caravan whose members said they had seen a, a knight wielding an enormous sword. A knight with an enormous sword. Was it Nightmare? Taki gleaned as much as she could from them and set out after the night at, uh, set out after the night at once. Uh, the city eventually arrived at had already been destroyed. Had it been the work of the Azure Knight? As she pondered this, she came under attack. The fuck you want, bitch? 
I already don't like you, and you keep finding people for no reason, and complain about your orphans. She clearly should have been hit by that, but okay. <laughs> you <win. laughs> no! Fuck those lizard men. The girl introduced herself as Tallinn and apologized, explained that she had mistaken Taki for a bell and she lives near a handful of orphans. Fuck her, you dumb bitch! They had lived in fear of a knight in blue armor who had recently appeared faced with this power. They had no choice but died away several weeks ago. This is the same thing we read on every time we fight her. Following the clues and pursuing Nightmare, Taki eventually arrived at the cathedral in the remote area. She was now mere steps behind Nightmare. She was concerned about the matter of the knight with the enormous sword, but the only thing to do now was to press on. A few moments after passing through the door, she sensed a malicious presence with which she was very familiar. It was him. He must have obtained the evil energy and been revived. It's time to end this once and for all. Get ready! Lady Luck must be on my side today. Versus Cervantes. Fight! What's your beef with him, though? This ain't her master, is it? Oh my god. Really? What the fuck was this grab? Ah. Uh. The hell was that grab attack? That had to be a side grab, even though it didn't look like you grabbed me by the side. Okay. Oh my god. I choked on that one. Damn. Come on. Fuck. Oh my god, yeah, there's no fucking way. That is not a side grab. It has to be some sort of special grab or some shit, bro. You know this AI is fucking being extremely aggressive because he's doing attacks after I'm dead. Come on. Fucking bitch! Damn, Bruh, what the fuck kind of physics does her hair have? Y'all see how long it took for it to drop? I even turned to look at the bars that fell behind her. Taki ran to judge the sound echo through the hallway. The battle was extremely fierce. Taki continued to burn and stepped into battle. Siegfried loses. No? Shit. Fuck! I always keep forgetting how it works. When he grunts, he uh, dies. When he doesn't grin, he lives. Okay. If you're after the sword, That's odd that we came all this way to fight Nightmare and then we have to fight Siegfried, though. That's what, also why I thought it was going to be Nightmare that won. That was a terrible swim. Oh, 
Ah. Damn it. Versus Siegfried. Fight. Oh my god, I click buttons. <laughs> You keep saying you're through with words, but you keep speaking. Oh, bro, I thought I was out of range. Ah! You left yourself open. Oh, what the fuck? Damn, I wish Bay would grab me like that. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. Yeet. You win. It's time. Loading, loading. Ignore that fucking voice crack. I swear to God. I'm in. It's still early. You made it this far. Not bad at all. My dream is about to be realized. You, however, are not worthy of witnessing this glorious moment. Leave this place at once. <laughs> Petting my dog. <laughs> Bro, your breath smells like shit. Get back. <laughs> offended now. He's like, well, fuck you then, bitch. <laughs> hey, quit that. Hey. Right Get your head out of there. Hold on, hold on. I'll give you love in a minute. I'll give you love right now. I'm sorry. I love you. <laughs> you big baby. Alright. There you go. He can't stand when I fucking... He's real. He likes getting scratched uh, a certain spot on his back, and when I scratch him, he'll like he like loses like he can't stand. <laughs> he, like ends up sitting while I'm scratching him. It's funny as shit. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, Fluffy. Damn it! The fuck? <laughs> he's looking at me. He's looking at me with his mouth open. He's like. <laughs> Damn. Oh shit. No bueno, no bueno, no bueno. Three round kicks. Three round stabs. Fuck. Bruh, how do you turn around that quick? You mother fluffer. You lose. Oh my god, bro. I feel like I'm doing so much better with Tacky than I was with, like, Nightmare, but we're dying so much more. Is he really... I'm trying to get him with the three kicks after that. Oh, shit! 
I don't know what I did to do that. Yes! There we go. Finally, we got to grab him. Fuck you! You son of a bitch. Fuck you. <laughs> Kick him while he's down. Ah, fuck you, Zossi. Chill? Fucking licking the floor. He's close. Uh, uh, are you their ally as well? A warrior of your caliber. Should have no need for evil power. Huh. You again. It's time to hand over that evil shard you possess. If you want it that badly, come and take it by force. You just don't give up, do you? Soul Edge, your scars run deep, even in death. Oof. Da, da, ba, ba, ba. The will Yay! We did it. We ain't get paid a bunch of shit though, but we did it. Alright, nice, nice, nice. Nice, nice, nice. We got the Herbie weapon. It's called a Herbie, but whatever. Woo! Okay, guys. I'm stretching now. My dog is looking at me like, yo, chill the fuck out, bro. Um, so that's gonna be it for this episode, guys. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next game. Bye. I did not mean to do that.